Hello everybody, my name is Queen Zenobia and today I will be playing Sims of Daisy. Um, now this was on Game Jolt so I will be leaving a link to the game in the description and if you guys want to play it, great. So this game is actually supposed to be like a crime drama horror game and I'm just like, I need to play more horror. I love horror and I get scared very easily so... Yeah, I'm gonna end up like screaming and crying like a little baby. <laughs> the following story is inspired by actual events. The name of the town and people have been changed to protect their identities. Ooh. <laughs> I like it! I like it! Ah! <laughs> I just love it so much. Okay. Choose episode. Of course we want to do episode one. We haven't even played this, so we need to go look for episode one. Episode one lies. Is that blood on the wall? The bodies of three teens were found inside a home today on Wednesday morning, according to the Foxwood Police Department. Authorities say they found the bodies of Daisy Winters, 17, Rose Summers, 17, and 18-year-old Leslie Falls. The case is still under All three girls were found face but the police cool department life. believe this incident was a suicide pact. Investigators are still trying to determine how the girls died. I don't think this was a suicide pact. So that was blood on the wall. I didn't even notice they were bloody. I thought that it was just the kids lying down, like sleeping or something. I didn't see the blood. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Quinn. I really need your help with this case. Those three girls. Three girls? Are you talking about the girls who died yesterday? Yeah, I don't believe that these- These girls committed suicide. Why the sudden change of heart? Birch? I've never heard of his last name, Birch. I just have a feeling these guys- These girls, excuse me, were murdered and that I have- made a huge mistake in ruling their death as a suicide. And Corn Corn just gave me the post mortem report and the cause of death is not consistent with the injuries these girls sustained. Well maybe they killed themselves in different ways. <laughs> so you Listen, you need to move on from this case. There's nothing more you can do. Are you that cold-hearted and soulless? I can't move on from this case. The family members need closure, Quinn. Please help these girls and their families. Don't you care about anyone else but yourself? No, I'm selfish. That's why every time there's, like, a big box of donuts in the break room, I take them. They're mine. Nobody else is gonna touch them. So back off. Come on, Quinn. Don't you want to know who did this to them? No, no, I really do not. I just want to leave. Get some donuts. Maybe a funnel cake too. Let's go. Let's let's leave. They're dead. Let's go. This has so many. They're dead. You ruled it as a suicide. Let's go. Somebody else can handle this. I'm supposed to actually be on my vacation right now, so... The choice you're about to make will alter the storyline. <gasps> Some of these are gonna have to like go back because I love these 
types of stories where um, you get to choose what you want to do. So, I'll say yes because I'm nice. Okay, I will help you. I need you to look at this. Look at what? Here's the official corn noise. I'm just gonna say corn noise. Corn noise. Report on what caused each girl's death. Okay. Okay. Daisy Winters. 5-25-16. So she died on May 25th, 2016 at 9 a.m. in the morning. That would be terrible because you're just waking up. Winter's residence. So it's at her house. So she had her hair up. Okay. Is that her? Because obviously in that photo her hairstyle is different than that one. Her hair is shorter than that one. Date of birth 12 so December 25th, 1980. Why did I say 1980? I'm at 1998. Gosh, I'm dumb. So, this girl was born on Christmas. And does that mean she gets double the presents on Christmas? I can see how your name corresponds with your date of birth. 17 female Caucasian blonde blue eyes intestines and stomachs are some and stomachs apparently she has seven stomachs according to me stomach are severely damaged no abrasion to the body bodies are extremely stiff and show advanced sign of rigor mortis did he cross the O right there um Blah, 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 a bunch of stuff, cause of death, drug overdose. Okay. Now this girl actually looks the same. Leslie Falls, date of death, same time, date of birth, 10 7, 1997. 18 female Caucasian redhead blue eyes basically the same stuff drug overdose Rose Summers born 6 3rd 1998 17 female Caucasian blue hair blue eyes Basically the same thing. Drug over this. Hmm. Did your forensics team find any pills or drugs where the girls died? No, the room was clean. The forensics team searched the entire house and did not find any trace of evidence. Do you have any leads? We have a suspect. Who? Ann Winters. She's the mother of Daisy Winters. This is our only lead at the moment. Besides where we found the girls dead. The mother was not home during the time of death, but was the first to find the girls dead. Drug East It's a long name. East Tom Enofen. I have no I I have like no clue how to say that. <laughs> Isn't that like a fancy way of saying Tylenol or your run-of-the-mill typical pain medication? Yeah, pretty much. This was found in the girl systems. System. But you did not find any kind of pills or drugs in the winter. Winter's home. We searched the entire house, every single room. We couldn't find anything. Was... Was you searching in the dark? 
I think he meant to say, were you searching in the dark? Do you use your eyes? How about Blue's Clues, huh? That was a bit random. I'm just kidding, line up. Let's go talk to the mother slash suspect. Because every mother loves having, you know, their children killed and then being called a suspect. And if she does really end up being a suspect, then, like, she is actually the mother, then I was wrong! <laughs> Talk to Ann Winters. Okay, is that over here? Can I go over here? Why is this so slow? Why am I walking so slow? Oh, okay, wait, okay, I need to write this down on a paper. Paper! Uh, okay. I don't know why I put two dashes in my um my A Okay. Nine kings. Eleven. Almost thirteen. Oh, and I made it look like a freaking bee. Oh, equals fifteen. Q equals. 17 s equals 19 u equals 21 w equals 23 and y equals 25 so it's going to be 4 15 14 20 20, 18, 21, 19, 20, and then 8, 9, 13. Okay. I'm gonna have to go this. The game is freezing up on me. To sink. It's amazing. Phone, printer, computer. Uh, okay. These are just post mornings, I suppose. Because of the unexpected deaths, the local high school will be closed today and will reopen back on, on Friday. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can say. That was a bit louder than I thought. Where should I go first? Obviously the strip club, I mean, come on. <laughs> I wish. <sighs> Fine, I will go to the president's. Even though I don't want to. I'm gonna make a phone call right now. Well, I say you do so. Go. 
billing statement. Five twenty seven sixteen funeral. Service for Daisy Winter's amount. Four thousand five hundred dollars. Jesus. Dang, having to Yep. Very own child. I would not wish this on anyone. Not even my worst my own worst enemy. Oh my gosh, I need to. Just leave. Oh, that's where the girls were killed. School yearbook. It looks like it's missing some pages. Do you want to use the yearbook? Yes, we do. Foxwood High School, class of 2016. From this point on, this will mark the new beginning of your life. If you ever get stuck in life or feel like you can't press forward, just remember, the secret to getting ahead is to get started. May God bless you with lots of love, happiness, and success. Leslie Falls. Good times come and go, but the memories will last forever. Rose Summer. If you expect the world to be fair with you because you are there, you're fooling yourself. That's like expecting a lion not to eat you because you did not eat him. Daisy Winters, don't let your happiness depend on something you may lose. The other pages are missing. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lesson and taste. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Okay. Nothing important. Usually you'd ask the uh, parents if you can check around the house first, but uh, I don't really like that. Daisy school uniform. Daisy school uniform. So you guys dress like maids or something like that? Talk to her right now. Good. Hmm. 
Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land of the in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Okay. So it was a religious family. This jewelry looks fake. That's so mean. Bunch of crap. Dresser. I could look at myself all day. I bet you could. You selfish, selfish, ignorant man. Directions for use. Wash your hands and clean skin area before use. Applying typical ornament to gross. Okay. Where's your father? <laughs> Great. Why don't you just take some? You're a jerk anyways. <laughs> so full of yourself. Who are you? You can't just barge into people's home unexpected. How dare you? My name is Quinn and I'm a private investigator and I want to ask you a few questions about your daughter's death. I told Birch that I would only speak with him about the death of my daughter. He's the only officer I can trust to find out who killed my daughter. So you believe your daughter and her friends were murdered? Of course they were murdered. There is mur murdered. <laughs> what was that voice that I just did? There is no way my daughter would have committed suicide. According to the coroner report, it is believed that the girls died from ingesting pills or drugs which lead which leads to an overdose or led to an overdose whatever you want to say this is BS someone killed my daughter someone killed these girls did you kill Daisy and the two girls? get out of my house now um, we just met it was just a question a simple yes or no would have been more appropriate listen I'm here to help I am not here to make enemies, believe it or not. You need to believe me. You need me right now. I'm on your side, Birch assigned me to this case, and I'm going to do what I can to find out what really happened to these girls. But I need your help. Will you help me? I'm sorry. Just find my daughter's killers. I will. Do you mind if I take a look around the house? No, do whatever you need. These rooms to left. Thanks, Anne. So now I have to go back over there and possibly look at her computer because that's what I would say. I wasn't supposed to look at the house until afterwards. This piano playing by itself. Want me a play tune? I'd love to play tune, but I guess I'm gonna use something important. Wait, what's it? Oh, yeah, I got some. You already forgot though. So I mean like technically it's fine. <laughs> Printer. Get into her computer. She just said you can look around the house, get into her computer. Nothing important. Okay. Air mirror on the wall. You 
yourself. How would anybody like you? Oh my gosh. I would hit you. Like, get out of my house. You're so full of yourself. Dear Diary, Diary Entry 1. I seen him again today. He was outside my window, just staring at me. I was motionless. My heart was racing. And for a brief second, I thought I was going to die. If only he knew. I try not to let my emotions get the best of me. But I'm terrified of him. I refuse to say his name. Just the thought of, having, of me having his name in my mouth repulses me. When I talk to mom about the incident, she insists that there is nothing to worry about. I don't understand how she can be so calm when she knows what's going on. What is she going to do when it's too late? How would she feel if I died? Very entry two. He came into my room again last night. I pretended like I was asleep. Help me get through the night. Once I woke up, I rushed to the bathroom and took a shower. I scrubbed from head to toe, but I still feel dirty. I need to tell someone about this before it gets worse. If I do tell, will they believe me? Daisy. time now. He's watching me. Oh, we use codes from now on, just like we learned in class. You should be able to figure out the combination. I will leave you hints in the next entry. Okay. So, obviously the diary entry for we're going to put this together. <laughs> I... Is that a 
14. I do not see a 14. Oh, you must be tripping. There's no 14. Okay, we'll just write this down for now. Maybe like a typo or something. I don't know. I'm so slow. So I hate you. 
new. You do not need to use codes anymore. I started hammering the diary so he cannot find it. And he said I should talk to the police chief Birch, but I'm scared. What if he finds out? It might make the situation worse than it already is. I don't know what to do anymore. I can't do this on my own. I need your help. the judge, I read your daughter's diary. If I can't get you for murder, I can have you for rape charges. But I did not rape or murder anyone. You have to believe me. I don't want to do this, but I guess I have no choice. I know who killed my daughter and the other two girls. You got two seconds before I read you um, Miranda writes. This better be good. I'm listening. I know about the diary. Who do you think she was wearing the coat to? It was me. I was the one who told her to talk to Birch. You got it all wrong. Him is not me. Him stands for the horrible, for horrible, insane mother. This does not make sense. Your daughter refers to you as he in his spirit's diary. How do you explain that? My daughter was upset with me because I did not do anything to stop the abuse. I would try to consult her after the abuse every night. That's where the he in his comes from. She was upset with me because I stood by and let her get abused. I'm pathetic. Listen, my daughter was very smart. Someone was reading my, her diary to throw them off. She even labeled the diary entries wrong on purpose to confuse my wife. I know you don't believe me, but if you give me time, I can prove that I'm telling you the truth. And how do you plan on doing that? I can prove that I'm innocent with the diary. Listen, the diary you read was incomplete. It's missing one page. I have the last page. Just let me show you where it is. This line. Frick! Um... Okay, so I can see how the wife would lie, but also this girl's talking about she was washing herself off. So maybe, I don't know, it sounds like a case of you coming in and trying to rape her. I don't know what I I have no idea. But I mean, if I let him show me where it is at, maybe maybe that will continue on to the next episode. But if he tries to run, I'm right there so I can you know go after him. I'll say yes. Did it just freeze? <laughs> Here it is. Oh my gosh. It's not true. He's lying. And who is the killer? Um, uh, oh my gosh. Um, um, it's not like there's a lot here. It's not like there's a lot for me to do. I suppose it's, um, first we're gonna decode these other messages. Ain't nobody getting away with this. Okay. So, M, I, R, R, O, R, mirror, okay, okay. W E R 
R S flowers mirror D O N T T R U Trust him. Okay, okay, okay. So that the first code that was in the morgue says don't trust him. The code in the living room said flowers. And then the code in the bathroom said mirror. So dance the killer. Episode three! You're killing me. You're killing me on the next episode. Where did you put it? You stupid little girl. I'm going to find it. It's around here somewhere. Oh. So. Episode 2 Fears. Okay. So. This is where I will be ending the first episode, and oh my gosh, I think I chose wrong. I could be wrong. Honestly, I'm just going with the clues. So yeah, this is actually quite enjoyable. I'll probably play the other route, so if you want to call it that. So um. Bye!